Hey guys, so I'm here today with the newest version of Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro 8 for Mac OS. And I just wanted to take a second and show you a couple things about the newest version and basically use today as the first of many tutorials on Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. Hey guys, so here we are with the new version of Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro 8 for Mac OS. On the right, I have the song chart showing the full harmonic analysis of Afternoon in Paris. So probably the first thing that you need to know is that there's always a song loaded in Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. It could be an empty song, a short progression, or as in this case, a complete jazz standard like Afternoon in Paris. But there's always a progression loaded into the app. Let's play it. So right away, the app sounds pretty awesome, as you can probably hear. Of course, we can tweak everything about the way the app plays this song, but I'll show you that later on. For now, let's concentrate on understanding the views we have in front of us. The window uses a split panel format, and you can resize the panels as you wish. The map is also showing afternoon in Paris. Please make sure to watch our videos on tonal harmony and how the map organizes harmony if you need to do so. So chords on the map are all the chords that are being used in Afternoon in Paris. Also, the chart and the map are linked to one another. All right, so if I click on the first C major seven chord in the chart, it'll play and show it on the map. This C major seven is a one chord in the tonic region. If I click on this G7, the 5-7 will play and show the G7 in the dominant region of the map. The standard paths between two chords are also indicated on the map and the chart. Like this C minor 7 to F7 is a 2-5 of B flat major 7, the flat 7. So the two chords are connected with a bracket. So by looking at either the chart or the map, we can get a pretty good idea of how the harmony in Afternoon in Paris works. Of course, we can customize the way all of this info is shown to us. Okay. In the chart, we can see four layers. The chord symbols, the arrows and brackets or cadences, the chord scales, and the Roman numerals. And we could turn this off or on over here. Or load any of the staff presets to change the way the chart looks. So this is a lead sheet or lead sheet large, or full analysis with guitar diagrams. We can also customize the way the chords are shown on the map. So here we can see the map functionally and we can add the secondary information or show the entire set of chords even if they don't belong to the progression currently loaded. With this keyboard, we can change the key and transpose the song to, let's say D major. Notice how the functions on the map didn't change, only the chord names. Remember, the cool thing about seeing any song harmonically is that the functions stay fixed when we transpose any song to other keys. Let's load another song. To do that, we open the song catalog with the open button over here. The app comes with many progressions already preloaded, but you can purchase any of these add-ons to add more songs to your catalog. For example, with the Jazz 1300 Plus, you'll have the entire Jazz Standards repertoire. Remember, all these songs have been fully analyzed by hand, which I don't have to mention is an invaluable resource. So you can add any of these bundles by purchasing the add-ons if you want. So let me look for Desafinado. All right, here it is. Just click on it to load it into the app. Let's play it. Cool, so now let's say I wanna change the piano sound to a guitar sound. I just open the player's menu, choose instruments, and change the piano to guitar. That's it. But let's say I wanna tweak it further. Right now, 
the AI player that I'm using is Duke. But I'm gonna change it to Joe. See, it says Joe plays nice guitar chords, and that's what I want. Also, I can tweak Joe even more by giving him some indications. Let's force Joe to play all chords. So for example, in this B minor seven flat five to E seven sharp five, Joe might have left out one of the chords, but I wanna force him to play every single chord. Let's also prioritize repeated voicings. I like this setting for bossa nova with guitar since guitar players oftentimes repeat the same chords for rhythmic emphasis. Let's allow Joe to use some chromatic approaches and move the chords up or down for a bit of color. And the bass player probably shouldn't play any chromatic approaches to sound more inside the bossa nova style. Let's play it. Awesome. We can even adjust the volumes in the play along mixer. That sounds better. Now I like this performance setting so much that I'm going to save them with the song. So the next time I open Desafinado, it will use the exact same rules, player, volumes, tempo, and so on. Let's do one more song. I'm going to load C Jam Blues. Let's play it. So if we look at the settings for the current player, we have force to play all chords, prioritize repeated voicings, playing chromatic approaches, and the bass is not playing chromatic approaches. So I'm gonna change the entire sound of the song. Let's choose a gospel groove and a tempo of 98. And I'm gonna change Winton to McCoy. Also change the bass to an electric bass and the piano to a Rhodes and the drums to a standard drum kit. A completely new version of Sea Jam Blues. So have fun with all the settings and, and try out different combinations. It's really, really fun. All right, so this is the first of many tutorials to come. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, you can get Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro 8 for Mac OS and or iOS right now. You can visit us on mdex.com and I'll be posting many more video tutorials on how to use Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro 8 for Mac OS. All right, so there it is, our first tutorial in the books. Don't forget, Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro for Mac OS and iOS is currently available right now, so go get your copy of it right away. Check us out on mdex.com and please be on the lookout in the future for more tutorials on Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. Thanks for watching.